Has your faith been tested? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. A small congregation in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains built a new sanctuary on a piece of land willed to them by a church member. Ten days before the new church was to open, the local building inspector informed the pastor that the parking lot was inadequate for the size of the building. Until the church doubled the size of the parking lot, they would not be able to use the new sanctuary. Unfortunately, the church, with its undersized lot, had used every inch of their land except for the mountain against which it had been built. In order to build more parking spaces, they would have to move the mountain out of the backyard. Undaunted, the pastor announced the next Sunday morning that he would meet that evening with all members who had mountain-moving faith. They would hold a prayer session asking God to remove the mountain from the backyard and to somehow provide enough money to have it paved and painted before the scheduled opening dedication service the following week. At the appointed time, 24 of the congregation's 300 members assembled for prayer. They prayed for nearly three hours. At 10 o'clock, the pastor said the final Amen. We'll open next Sunday as scheduled, he assured everyone. God has never let us down before, and I believe He will be faithful this time too. The next morning, as he was working in his study, there came a loud knock at his door. When he called, Come in, a rough-looking construction foreman appeared removing his hard hat as he entered. Excuse me, Reverend, I'm from Acme Construction Company over in the next county. We're building a huge new shopping mall over there, and we need some filled dirt. Would you be willing to sell us a chunk of that mountain behind the church? We'll pay you for the dirt we remove, and pave all the exposed area free of charge, if we can have it right away. We can't do anything else until we get the dirt in, and allow it to settle properly. The little church was dedicated the next Sunday as originally planned, and there were far more members with mountain-moving faith on opening Sunday than there had been the previous week. Would you have shown up for that prayer meeting? Some people say faith comes from miracles, but others know miracles come from faith. All the readings today speak about faith. In the first reading, we are all encouraged to live righteous lives despite experiencing evil and suffering in this world. We may find ourselves like Habakkuk, who felt angry while experiencing oppression. Like him, if we can still trust in God in spite of our honest anger and disappointment towards his seeming deafness, that is faith. For God knows the depths of our heart, and no matter how we sugarcoat our words, he knows if we are seething inside. Indeed, when we see the world around us, we can feel helpless and hopeless. So much poverty exists as greed feeds corruption and manipulation, and pride foments revenge, violence, and war. We may ask, where are you, God? Habakkuk, like many of us, doesn't lose hope. He goads us to continue to trust our God, for he knows that as we persevere to be good, God will make things right. It may be slow in coming, but His help never fails. It may not be to our own expectations, but His ways are better than ours. In the second reading, St. Paul asks us to be faithful in following Christ's teachings, relying on the help of the Holy Spirit to continue witnessing the good news to the world, bearing the hardship that comes along. Let our prayer be like Jesus' disciples in today's Gospel reading. Lord, increase our faith. No matter how small our faith is right now, God uses that tiny opening in our heart to wedge in His gift of faith. Once that seed is planted, he will water it with His grace so that it becomes sturdy like a tree that weathers any storm. Every time we feel our faith is wavering, we remember God's unconditional love for us, reliable and true, even sending His only Son to redeem us. When we feel the pangs of discouragement and hopelessness, let us come to the Lord and ask Him in prayer, Lord, increase my faith. That alone, the recognition of our weakness, helplessness, and utter reliance on our God, is already a sign of a budding faith. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Heavenly Father, inflame me with a strong and steadfast faith, so that I may see the invisible, grasp the unimaginable, and hope in the impossible. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.